Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and for clicking on this video. I'm so excited for today because I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what I got for Christmas. I've been watching these videos on YouTube for the last week. I just love seeing what people got for Christmas. I wanna apologize because I really wanted to have this video up a lot earlier for you guys. I know like it's almost New Year's, but my filmmaker and my editor went away for Christmas. Aaron went to visit his family in Newfoundland, so I didn't have him here to help me with my videos. That's why I couldn't get this video up earlier for you guys, but better late than never, I am here today to show you guys what I got for Christmas. I'm still feeling super festive. For me, Christmas doesn't really end until like after New Year's. I know there's some people that like the day after Christmas, they take down their tree and all of their decorations, but I really like to just embrace Christmas for as long as I can. So I just drag it out until after New Year's Eve. So for me, it's still Christmas and I hope you guys are still excited to see this video. So let's just get into it. A lot of people put a little disclaimer on these videos saying that they're not bragging about what they got for Christmas, that they just wanted to show their viewers like the things that they got because they think it's exciting. So I think it goes without saying, you guys know that I'm not bragging. I really didn't get anything super expensive for Christmas, but I just think it's really fun to show you guys what I got. And if you guys wanna show me what you got, you can always just tweet me or post on Instagram and tag me in it. I would love to see what you guys got as well. Okay, so the very first thing that I got, which you probably figured out from the intro of this video, is the game Speak Out. So the game looks like this, and it's been out for a few years now. It's not something new, but I've seen a few people have this game, and it literally looks so fun. It's hilarious. You put that plastic thing in your mouth, and then you try and say something, and the person on your team has to guess what you're saying. And my family and I played it on Christmas Day, and we were literally in tears laughing so hard. It's like the most hilarious game and it's so much fun to play with your family. So I would really recommend getting this game if you're looking for like a new game to play on a games night or something. I'd really like to film a video maybe with like me and Aaron trying out the game or something. I think it would be like a really fun challenge. The next thing I got for Christmas is a new yoga mat. It's this super pretty blue color and it comes with a little like holder or a travel strap or whatever. And I asked for a yoga mat because I really wanna be active in the new year, but I don't like setting really big like physical activity goals for myself because I am not an active person. Like the gym and me are not friends and I wish we were because I do see like the benefit in being active and exercising and things like that. But it's just so hard for me to go to the gym. Like there's so many other things that I would rather be doing than exercising. So that's why it's really hard for me. But I thought maybe if I get a new yoga mat, I could do just like some really light exercises in my apartment and then it won't seem like you know such a daunting task to do like if I have a few extra minutes I could just get on my yoga mat and do like some sit-ups or something so that's why I asked for a yoga mat and I'm really excited that I got one the next two things I got are books and books are like my favorite things to get for Christmas I love reading over the holidays because on Christmas break you have so much extra time and it's just so nice to like sit on the couch and look at your Christmas tree and read a good book so the books that I got are beautiful boy and this is actually a movie with Steve Carell in it. I haven't seen the movie yet because I want to read the book first, but it literally looks like such a nice story. I think it's about like a father and son and the son becomes addicted to um, drugs. It's all about their relationship and kind of like navigating um, his drug addiction, the son. So I think it's going to be a really good story and it's going to make me cry. I know it because it just looks so good. I saw some of the previews, so I'm excited to read this. And then the second book I got is girl wash your face i've heard this one is really good it's kind of like an inspirational self-help story by rachel hollis who's like a blogger and she does a lot of cool things online i love i'm a sucker for a good like self-help book because i just love anything like inspiring and motivating you guys probably know that from my videos so i started this one and it's really good so far but i can let you guys know how i like it something that aaron actually got for christmas but i wanted to include it in this video is the google home mini 
I, this was totally a surprise. Like we did not know, he didn't ask for this or anything, but it seems like such a cool gift. And I'm really excited to hook this up and see how it works. We don't have like a smart TV or anything like that. So I don't think we can connect our TV that we have now to this, but we can use like Netflix with it and stuff like that. So if you guys have a Google Home Mini or anything like that, you can leave me a comment down below. Let me know like how it works or how you guys like it. The next thing I got for Christmas that I wanted to show you guys is this diffuser. It's a super pretty light blue color and I'm so excited to try this out. I really like having a diffuser on when I'm in bed like reading or when I'm going to sleep because I find that it just makes the air like so fresh and I sleep a lot better. Um, somebody commented on my Christmas wish list video and told me to be careful because a lot of times essential oils are not good for cats. So thank you for reminding me about that and I'm going to be doing a lot of research to see what kind of essential oils are safe for Gracie because I wouldn't want to like make her sick with this diffuser or anything. But if you guys have cats and you also use diffusers, you can let me know down below if you have any suggestions of like oils that are safe for pets. One of my favorite gifts that I got for Christmas is this blanket. Seriously guys, I am so easy to please. Like you can get me anything for a gift and I will love it. This blanket is so soft and it has a beautiful like gray and white plaid pattern. My mom actually got this at Chapters, the bookstore, and it's just like the softest thing ever. And it's gray, so it works perfectly with the decor in my apartment. And like, you can never have too many fuzzy blankets. I just love them so much. I was so excited when I opened my Sorel boots that I asked for for Christmas. You guys know I really wanted these if you watched my Christmas wish list video. So these are so nice. I haven't worn them yet because I've been waiting to show you guys in this video but they're this super nice like tan color and they're just really great quality you can tell from like the bottom is like a super like hard it's not plastic I don't know what it is but it's a really good quality shoe so I'm excited to wear this because I would like to go outside and do some walking in the winter but I really didn't have any footwear that like the snow and the water wouldn't soak through and it has like the softest inside with this fake fur and I'm just so excited to wear these. So I was really happy about this Christmas gift. The next gift I got is the ultimate adult gift. It's a crock pot and I was so excited about this. I've literally been looking on Pinterest all kinds of fun crock pot recipes that I can use. A lot of them aren't vegetarian and I don't really eat a lot of meat. So if you guys have any good like crock pot vegetarian recipes, you can let me know in the comments down below. But I'm really excited to make a meal with my new crock pot this winter season. The next few things I wanna show you guys that I got for Christmas really go with my New Year's resolution of being more zero waste and taking care of the planet. I was really excited to get a new travel mug because I really needed one and I got some new like candy cane tea for Christmas as well that I don't have with me but I'm so excited to make a cup of like candy cane tea and be able to take it to work with me in this every day after the Christmas break. The next zero waste items I got are these four metal straws. They also come with a little like brush cleaner so that after you use them you can like clean it with a little brush so it's really sanitary and I'm gonna be keeping one of these in my purse so then whenever I'm out I can just just like always have a metal straw and I don't have to use a plastic one. And I also got some reusable produce bags, yay! So now I don't have to use those annoying plastic ones that you get in the store. I can just reuse these ones. Um, these are Debbie Meyer green bags. You can use them for a really long time and they also keep your produce fresher, which is really great because I find that I do throw out a lot of produce because it just goes bad so quickly in my fridge, but these are supposed to keep it fresh for for like 20 days or something. So a really great way that I can cut down on my food waste in the new year and also just like save more money doing that as well. I don't have it here with me, but Aaron's mom gave me a candle and a bath bomb and also a gas card for $60. And it's funny, like out of all of this stuff, I was probably most excited about the gas card. I was like, yay for practical gifts because like, honestly, I have to like spend money on gas anyways in the new year. So now that I have a gas card, I can just like save more money for myself. I don't have to be putting it in my car. I just love practical gifts. I love when people give me 
stuff like that. All right, guys, so that is gonna be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you liked seeing some of the things that I got for Christmas. I'd love to hear what you guys get for Christmas, so if you would like to just leave me a comment down below, I would love to read through and respond to you guys. If you want a little bit more insight into my life, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those are always linked in the description below and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> you look like a skeleton. <laughs> That's terrifying. That looks so scary. I know. That's actually terrifying. It's like so much teeth. So much teeth are just gone. <laughs>